Hello and welcome back. It's Stubbo Debbie and this is episode 46 of my our 21.18 Let's Play. Uh, I, I would like for today to summon a star bottle to help with some automation, <laughs> with automating our source gems that we do as well. So let's figure out how to do this. I already have the recipe for the Starbuckle Farm ready. It's five gold nuggets and three source gems. And all we have to do is click our Starbuckle Shard into the enchanting apparatus. And let's get this made. Oh yeah. I'm so ready for this. Yes. Okay, so have our imbuement chamber and star vocal charm. Uh, let's uh, look over this again. Okay, we have the scroll. Uh, you can use item scroll or a item frame it, to sort of use as a filter for the star vocal. So I already made a item scroll that will allow him to get source gem blocks and source gems from our imbuement chamber. Okay, so that's great. <laughs> uh, now we need to summon, we need to summon our star bungle. To summon a star bungle, use a star bungle charm on the ground. Okay, so let's do that. Awesome. Oh, we're going to need our Dominion Wand. Oh, this is so cool. Hello, Mr. Starbuckle. So, uh, we summon him, and he's great. Uh, so, let's learn about the item transport. So, we need to bind him to a place... Uh, it says to bind a star bungle to place items into a chest, use the dominion wand on the star bungle and then on the inventory. So, uh, I guess we can put our chest here and then, uh, oh, task cleared, stored entity. Star Bumble will store items here. Great. Oh, we're making progress. All right. Uh, to take items from an inventory, use the wand on the inventory and then the Star Bumble. Okay. So we want him to take from the immunement chamber. So I guess we position set. Star Bumble take from this inventory. Oh, this is going to be so good. All right. Uh, so now we want to give him the scroll. Can, do we just... Okay. So we can reuse the scroll. Nice. Um, so let's put our copper up here. Oh, this is going great. Uh, this is going a lot quicker than I thought it would. Uh, let's go get some amethyst and throw in there and see how it goes. Yeah, let's just grab a whole stack of blocks of amethyst. Uh, that should that should get us some source gems to last for a little while, hopefully. So now we can just throw this in here. Um, it said something about, I remember reading something about the star bumbles wanting to use hat blocks to travel on. I wonder if I need to, like, uh, turn these blocks into, if he just stood right here, he'd be able to access that both of them. So I don't know. Let's see. 
see what happens. I know this is going to take a minute to get this done. Uh, but, yeah. So, let's harvest some stuff and things. Oh, yeah. And our little, our little amethyst golem is down there just having a blast. He is making us so much amethyst. It's crazy. Uh, I did, I, I, let's go, let's go look at the amethyst golem. Because I did some uh, rearranging to the little room down there. I don't know if I showed that last episode or not. Okay, it's not the iron level. It's the old diamond level. Okay. Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> Dude, he's got them all converted over to Amethyst now. Or the buddy Amethyst. And look at all this stuff. we got tons of stuff now. This is great. Thank you. And he's just having a hoot over here. Dancing around. <laughs> I like it. I, and I don't, I didn't really feel it necessary to extend it out this way because he's got tons of, of amethyst to do in here. Uh, and he's doing a bang up job on it. So, yeah. Okay, now hopefully the uh, Star Bunkle, hopefully our source gem converted and he grabbed it out and put it in the chest that's the dream uh, but it looks like we got everything all set up correctly and it should just work that's the plan <laughs> uh if this doesn't work uh if it's quirky or something i think i could use one of those laser io nodes to do the same thing or to get the same effect. Oh yeah. I can't wait. Uh, also, I want to, I think I might in between episodes summon another uh, wheel walker over in this area uh, to kind of guard the entrance to this building <laughs> it's pretty far apart i mean he does travel around and i've seen him over here battling uh but i'm not sure exactly how far he'll he'll go so i'm probably gonna like put one to guard over here and and that'll be cool i love to see him just roaming around patrolling and stuff that's real reassuring for me <laughs> Okay, so let's put, oh, I figured this thing out, right? Uh, how is having the problems with uh, the miscellaneous chest was getting like half of the items. It didn't matter what I thought. Well, maybe it's because this was going so fast that the chest couldn't pick it up. So I was like, well, how do I make the chest pick up faster? But you can't, it's not a thing. So what it was, was um, I had to put the priority to a negative number, and then it just stopped. It, it doesn't have that issue at all as long as this is negative. So it now sorts properly. Uh, I do want to get some upgrades for this, though, and that will make this faster and it will clear up things in the chest a lot nicer. So yeah, I did go, oh yeah, check it out. I did go mining uh, in between episodes and I, I filled up my precious. <laughs> so all we got to do is, I don't know exactly what's in here, but if I shift right click on this, it'll dump everything in there, except for one out of each stack. Oh, look at all that iron. I went down there once and I didn't hardly get any iron at all. I got tons of copper. Um, my issue is this is going to get filled up now. Uh, so I need to, need to set this up to where oh, 
this is a diamond chest. I can't make this any bigger. What may need to happen is I may need to get a smelter set up going. Why are you in here in the pearls? Don't understand that. Fragments should be over here. Anyway, uh, yeah, I need some upgrades and uh, I need to set up a smelting area. But before I can do the smelting area, I want to get the power uh, solidified. I want to get the magmatic dynamo and the pump going and all that. <laughs> so, yeah, that'll probably be next episode. We'll try to get that uh, magmatic dynamo going. I just really, really wanted to do some magic. <laughs> uh, so let's see if this guy... Oh, look, he moved. So that's promising. Ah, yes! So now I can just throw what I want in here. And, and everything will be great. He just did it. Oh, yes. This is great. This is great. Um, there is a way to dispel him and get your charm back. So I was hoping <laughs> that that was the case because I, I, I've been holding off on progressing and doing the automations because I was afraid if I moved it, I would lose it. So when I found out that I could dispel it and get the charm back and then relocate it, that was a relief to me. So I'm, a, I'm I feel a little bit better about experimenting a little here and, uh, you know, taking it to another place. Sorry about that. Yes, so this is working. This is great. I love this little guy. It's, uh, I guess it's based on a fox. A fox, uh, because it can also harvest the source berries. Uh, I bet if I put a couple of source berries around, he would, he would harvest them and possibly uh, put them in the chest. Uh, I might need to maybe get a couple of these around and maybe, I don't know how. Oh, I, I remember. To get an item onto the scroll, you put your scroll, item scroll allow onto the scribe's table and then you hold the item and sneak and then the item is added and then you can take your scroll back and you can see now it has source berries on there so i can go and uh put that on him and now hopefully i can uh put a little Source berry here and there, and maybe when it uh, grows up, harvest them and, uh, and, and put them in the thing. And also, that will this could totally be like a little farm. You could make your little star bumble uh, store items and stuff. And when he's harvesting these source berries. You can use your uh, argonom argonomic source leak to gather uh, source off of these things growing. And since you'll be harvesting the stuff, it'll just always be making you mana or source. <laughs> so that's cool. Because, I, I mean, I do have a source part that I can put back there. Oh, this is so good. Oh, he just did it again. You could hear the chest. That is awesome. I'm curious as to if he'll harvest these. Uh-huh. Oh, he harvested it, but my magnet picked it up. Um, 
What if I sneak? Oh, he picked it up. Nice. <laughs> so that would work. Uh, unfortunately, there's not like a a magnet thing, a thing to stop magnets from working around uh, these guys like there is for Britannia. So that would always be a thing. Anytime you walk by, you're going to suck up all the stuff into your inventory, which is kind of annoying. Uh, so that's pretty cool. We got the Starbuckle all set up and ready to go. <laughs> uh, he's uh, doing our automations for us. I wonder if there's a way to speed the imbument chamber up. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that would that would be something to I guess look into. Uh, Oh, we would need to probably go to getting started and obtaining source gems. So, oh, that's not okay. So, what is this guy called? The imbuement chamber. I don't see where the human chamber is. Machines? Human chamber. There we go. Human chamber. Oh, this tells you the recipes for like fire ethics. We need to like, now that I know I can use the Starbuckle to automate this, uh, I can set these up to make uh the, because these acids take like 15 minutes to make one so if i could uh automate uh, an imbuement chamber to where he will only take out the fire essence uh, these items don't get consumed i could just feed it uh, source gems and make all the fire essence and just have it going in the background and the same with all the other essence. And then I can start uh, working on doing the glyphs. I still have so many glyphs that I want uh, to make so I can have, you know, more spells to play with because I'm having a lot of fun with this Ars Magica stuff and I want to do all the stuff and things that I can. And we have all these. Uh, these are only the tier two glyphs. Uh, there are more tier three glyphs as well. I don't think there's like a whole lot. Uh, look here. Let's see, yeah, there's there's still a good amount, like twelve uh, tier three. We've got. Uh, this many tier two and a lot of tier one still as well so this will be a, this is a really good step towards getting ours magica really rolling uh, that way when i'm off mining and stuff he's gonna be gathering stuff up oh this is so good and you can have um what is it? Is it the whirly gig? The whirly gig, yeah. The whirly gig harvests wood and crops and seeds. So you could get a whirly gig harvesting all your mage bloom and other crops. Uh, well, they're not really harvesting, they're just producing stuff without harvesting them, I think. Um, so you just place crops around him and he'll go nuts and have everything yay <laughs> so this is good this is real good i like it so he's just standing there chilling out getting the source berries and source gem blocks i like it i like it we got um uh, got some 
more time and I missed missed recording uh, the last time I tried to do this uh, so what I might do is get uh, I did harvest some trees so I could have some more of the saplings that way if I needed another tablet I would have stuff so what is that uh, summoning ritual summoning no uh, okay let's just do ours haha <laughs> tablet awakening not summoning Okay, so we could go get one of our blocks out there and get a flourishing archwood log. And then we can make another tablet. Get the ritual brazier. And I'm pretty sure that's all we need to do this thing. And we can get a, a, another wheeled walker guarding our backs. Yes, the sound of items being produced is great. <laughs> and we got craft tape right here. Let's make our tablet of awakening. Awesome. Um, and I'll just go. Uh, oh, we need the tree. That's right. Um, need to get another sapling isn't a problem because I harvested a bunch of trees to get it and I want another cascading well actually let's try a different one um uh, the flourishing one I think does it said like a amplified harm plus a snare I believe uh, so, I think put it the rituals, uh, tablet of awakening. Um, where do I find out about field walkers? Um, this is so confusing. Uh, getting started. Starting automation. Oh. Well, anyway, <laughs> I remember that, but let's, yeah, let's do the flourishing one and see how that guy does. Uh, I want to try it. See, see if it's as cool as I think it is. So, uh, I get some bone meal. Boop, boop, boop. Awesome. Okay, so set the ritual brassiere at the base of the tree. Put the tablet on it. Boink, and then right click it with an empty hand. Yes. <laughs> Oh, there he is. There he is. Now we take it and we click on him. Just no shift click. And we'll we'll have him his home there. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. Uh need to change this to mine. Oh goodness. That is good. Real good. And a boop. We had a very, very successful <laughs> episode. And it still hasn't been 30 minutes. Uh, so, but I don't know. I don't want to just mess around. I do have other things planned. I want to do next episode the pump and the magmatic dynamo and the ender tank and get lava
coming into our base. So we'll also probably need some sort of tank uh, to, to store stuff, to store our lava in. We do have a tank down here. Uh, it's a portable tank. Uh, what uh, thermal had some tanks, but maybe it's just a thing. Yeah, this is just portable tanks, but that should work. 8,000, How much does it? Oh, this just takes four gold and glass paints. Well, heck yeah, let's um, Let's upgrade that puppy real quick. So, oh, I bet that stuff wound up over here. Yeah, we had some copper going over here. Oh, yeah, advanced portable tank. It did not. It's, it's you know, had that bug for a long time where it doesn't like shift clicking non-stackable items into the crafting grid for some reason that's always been a thing as far as i can remember <laughs> uh but it's okay um let's see about upgrading this thing again oh four diamonds and four more glass paints i think that would be a good investment especially since i went mining for some more diamonds in between episodes, uh, I guess we were down to like 20 something. I didn't get a whole terrible lot, but I did get a few more. So that was pretty nice. And then a boot. Boot. So now it'll hold 64 buckets of lava for us. And we can get our ender tank, our pump, and our magmatic dynamo. Um, I'm not sure that we need pipes for this. Uh, we'll need one magmatic dynamo just to power this. So we're going to need at least two magmatic dynamos. And this takes uh, four, five, six. Uh, oh, man. I won't have enough in the bar. Uh, I did make some in bar. Uh, before, there it is, it's 12, uh, oh, that is, I thought it was only 11, I was like, oh no, I'm one short, so I can make two of the magmatic dynamos, and that will get us one to power the pump, and then one to put in our base to create power for our base, uh, and then we can add more later once we get that going because then we can make all our machines and get this stuff sorted and processed because it's completely full <laughs> oh no all right uh this has been a great episode i'm so happy that i've been able to start dipping my toes a little bit more into ours new bow because i'm really really digging it and and there are other gadget mods to check out too. I also want to check those out. Uh, but I have like this vision in my head of all this Ars Nouveau stuff. It looks really cool. <laughs> uh, and I want I want to do it. Um, I also, once I get the, the processing and stuff and lava set up for all this, I want to build my wizard tower. It's waiting for me over there <laughs> all the way over there i want to make it also i would like to maybe getting getting around uh, i have water to go to to get over here and to get over to my farms hardly ever go over there anymore um but it would be cool to set up some whirly sprigs to harvest my crops for me that would be super cool and awesome so uh, did find a whirly sprig on my adventures out here and I marked it on the map 
see up here no that's the scary cape there's the whirly sprig also i didn't do this in one of my cuts but there is oh here it is there's a meteor here an r uh an ae2 meteor so when we're ready for ae2 we can get that that is just oh it's so amazing i'm loving this world and this mod pack it's just it's blowing my mind every time i play i find something even more amazing <laughs> and it's it's just cool so we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here and next episode we're gonna get some power uh get some lava incoming into our base get some power to uh process our ores and, and so we can progress any even further i did find a lot of silver too uh man it was in a huge vein i remember direwolf talking about this in one of his episodes about how the silver and the nickel were too rare so they had to change it and it sort of uh, backfilled so you didn't have to create a whole new world to get the silver and the nickel to spawn it so sort of force spawn it in uh, so that was pretty cool anyway <laughs> thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye